one big advantage of it being summer is that I can film at 7 p.m. in the evening and the lighting still looks fine. Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video today. I am here with another super exciting video and you've already read the title of this video. That's where you probably clicked on it. Today I'm gonna unbox the June Fairy Loot box and again, like I said last month, I am so very excited. This is my second Fairy Loot box. Last month I unboxed the May Fairy Loot box. So if you haven't seen that unboxing for some reason, you can click on the link somewhere in the description down below. So I will leave a link to that video if you haven't seen what's inside of the May Fairy Loot box. So the theme for June is Elementalist, so if you're a really big fan of people who can control water, fire, earth, and air, like Avatar, I was thinking of the last element. I was like, what is the last element? But I only wanna order the Fairy Loot box if I'm really excited also for the book that's gonna be inside of it, if I have like a pretty good idea of, you know, which book is gonna be inside of the box. And I'm pretty damn sure that I know the June book. Like I said, it's 7 p.m. It is extremely hot here in the Netherlands. It's like 30 degrees Celsius, which is, I think, about 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you see my natural highlight, which is sweat, you know, I'm just struggling through the heat. Ooh, let's open it. And I hope that this time in the video, I'm not gonna say cool as many times as I did in my May unboxing. I was pretty annoyed with myself, so. Uh, I'm gonna try and open it with scissors this time because I wasn't lazy. I, I, I got me a pair of scissors. So just a quick, nice little thing to uh, tell you guys. I accidentally ordered two boxes and these boxes are quite expensive. They're like 43 euros each. And I emailed them if they could cancel my order, but they couldn't anymore. Um, but I got a second box as well, but it actually came out pretty perfectly because I'm gonna give that box to my friend. Um, so I hope that she's not watching right now. I hope that she's watching it after she gets her box. Let's open it because I think when I open it, ooh! <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna look at the back, but this is the print of the Elementalist's June 2017 box. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab the first thing that I see. Okay, this is a Fairy Loot exclusive I think it's a soap. This is, ooh, it smells really nice. It's called Clairvoyance. I have to find out what it is though because, um, okay, so on the sticker it says, white fig and pomegranate glycerin soap bar with added chia butter and activated charcoal. So I'm expecting this soap to be pretty black, which is a really big trend at the moment. A lot of food things are black. I don't know, people really are excited about charcoal being put into food. It smells sweet and fresh, not too sweet. So I'm very excited to use this. I will definitely be putting this on my sink. Last time I forgot to say which brands or shops made the product. So I hope that in this video, I will be good and say it with every single thing. So this is from Ascent Bath and Body. This was gonna be an item. This is a candle it's by Witchwood Remedies Thunderstorm. This is a thunderstorm candle. This looks super interesting. I don't know what kind of scent it is. I think thunderstorm. Let's open it and hope that I like it. Oh, this is exactly the kind of scent that I like. It smells very citrusy. Mm. So last month we also got a candle, this one from In the Wick of Time, and I got it in the scent Mist, which is warm stone and wood smoke, which was a lot more like uh, manly, I would say, like a lot more, um, it smelled like like heavy kind of, and this one is the complete opposite. Very citrusy and I really like citrus smell. The next item that I'm gonna get out of this box is an item that I was super excited for, and that is a pillowcase. Um, so let's grab it to see. Uh, it was gonna be an exclusive Fairy Loot design, and it's blue, which fits perfectly with my room. It says, books are a uniquely portable magic, and it's a quote by Stephen King. This is perfect for in my book nook. Uh, that's why my channel name is Sabine's Book Nook because right there I have my little nook where I sit and I can put this like on the pillow. And this is absolutely perfect. I'm really happy that it's blue because blue is my favorite color. It's the color that I have here in my room. This is absolutely stunning. Can't wait to put this around my pillow. Okay, so we still have three more items in this box. Oh, oh my God, yes. Potion sticky notes. I first thought that these were gonna be, um, how do you call them, like magnetic bookmarks, but this is adorable. You have uh, purple, blue, and greenish potions. This looks so good. It's kind of like Harry Potter. Oh, 
great. Ooh. Okay, so I'm usually not a big fan of these kinds of things, but this is gorgeous. Uh, I usually don't wear a lot of jewelry, but this is a really pretty one um, with like, I don't know, but it, I've seen this kind of hand a ton of times in jewelry and it just looks very cute. It's from In The Moment, handmade jewelry for your favorite moments. Very nice. I think this is supposed to be maybe Avatar inspired because there was gonna be an item that was inspired by Avatar. So maybe this one. We have a postcard which says, in a world of ice, she will burn. And this is a quote from, I think the Frostblood series. I don't know if it's gonna be a series by Ellie Blake. So the last thing that I grabbed out of this box, oh my God, I almost dropped it, is the item that is inspired by Avatar. So not the bracelet. And this is a Firebender lip balm. When I watched Avatar, I was like 11 or something. So I don't even know the plot anymore, but I wanted to control water because the girl like who's kind of a main character, she controlled water and she was really awesome. Um, and I always was very intrigued by the fire side of Avatar. So right now I got a lip balm and I think that there are gonna be multiple lip balms that you could have gotten. I really wanna open this to see what it smells like. It's really like sealed, guys. Okay. Ah, I only got a teeny tiny piece of it. Come on, get off. I wanna smell this lip balm because there's probably a good scent to this. I still have a ton of plastic on this thing, but I opened it. I can't really smell it. I think it, I think it smells kind of fruity. I hope it's not too, it's really soft because of the weather, I think. It's handmade vegan, ooh! It's handmade vegan watermelon lip balm. It smells good. So I'm really happy about that. I still need to remove some of the plastic though, but I, I can't, kind of. Yay! I got it off, finally. So now the only thing that is left, oh wait, we got another chapter sampler. This is a chapter sampler for The Waking Land by Kelly Bates. The land will rise again. Oh, okay, so this book is coming out on June 29th of this year, so um, yeah, I'm gonna look through it and read it and see what I think about it. Um, I haven't heard of this book before, so I'm gonna look it up on Goodreads. So that was the last item. Now let's get to the book. Like I said, I'm pretty damn sure that I know what book it is. So I'm gonna do the same thing as last time. I'm not gonna look and I'm gonna show it to you guys, hopefully on the right side this time. <laughs> Again, talking with my eyes closed to the camera. So before I'm gonna have a look, I'm gonna say that this is the right side, or maybe not. No, I think that this is the right side. And I'm gonna say that it's Roar by Cora Carmack or something. Oh my god, I got it again! At first I thought that there was gonna be the Song of the Current in this box because that was also with like controlling water, but then they said that there was gonna be something about storm magic and I looked at the new releases that were coming out and then I found Roar by Cora Carmack. I've been trying to tell you guys the synopsis of this book, but there are just way too many hard words in it that I can't really pronounce because English is not my native language, so sometimes pronouncing words in English is kind of hard for me. But I know that this is a fantasy with controlling storms and there is supposed to be, I think, a romance in it as well. But I am very excited to read this. I think I'm gonna read this this June, but I say that with every single book that I wanna read, so who knows? I hope that I will be reading it soon. The theme of next month is tricksters and it's perfect for fans of Harry Potter, Loki, Harley Quinn, Sherlock, and those are all of the things that I absolutely adore and again, I know I'm pretty sure that I know what book is inside of the box, so I already ordered it. So next month, you will also see an unboxing from the July box for me as well. Let me know in the comments down below which box you thought was better, the May one or the June one. I personally think that this June box was even better. I love every single item in this box, and the book seems really interesting. The May box was amazing too, but these things that are featured in the box are just, they're really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can follow me on all of my social media pages. I have Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram, and you can also send me an email if you want to. I will leave links to that all in the description down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.